So over the past few weeks, I've been working on a number of map animations focusing on 16th and 17th century empires. I've been animating their borders as well as the various trade routes of the different empires at that time. In this tutorial, I wanna focus on animating one of these trade routes because they're really fun. They're actually quite simple to create and very customizable. So I'm gonna jump in and break it down step by step. Big shout out to my tier three patrons, Barnes Creative Studios, Tyson the Keymaster, Mike and Sandra over on YouTube at Flumi Plus One, and Josh. Thanks to all you folks for making this video possible. So I've got a base map here and I'm using the premium plugin GeoLayers 3. Now you don't have to have this plugin to create this technique or to use this technique. You can actually use this on a flat map if you just have a flat map with elements parented to it and you're flying a 3D camera around, this will still work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out the path. So I'm going to grab the pin tool and I'm going to turn the fill off and I'm going to set the stroke to solid color. And this is all fine. I've got a black color with a width of 15 pixels. And now I'm just going to draw out a path that goes from over here in the Netherlands. We'll go from like Amsterdam or something. I think that's Amsterdam. And we'll go down and around all the way to India. So we'll come down here, maybe go to these islands over here. And as I click, I'm holding and dragging out to create these Bezier handles. And if you hold Alt, you can actually separate these Bezier handles and pull them in the opposite direction. So I can create like a little loop around the tip of Africa here, which is pretty cool. Alt and drag this over here. And now we'll go over here all the way over to Sri Lanka. Okay, so now I've got a path here. I'm gonna rename this layer, we'll call it Trade Route. And now I can stylize it by opening up the layer, contents, shape group, and here is the stroke group. Down here, I actually have a dashes section. If I hit plus, that's gonna add a new dash. If I hit plus again, it's gonna give me a gap parameter. Now I just wanna have these like little circles. So for that, I'm gonna turn the line cap to round, and then I'm gonna bring the dash all the way to zero and then pump the gap up a little bit and now we've got these little dots. I could even bring the stroke width down a little bit to make these a little bit smaller. So now I've got this cool look, um, but now I actually need to attach it to the map because if I move the map around in GeoLayers at all, it's not attached. So to do that, I just grab this parent pick whip and I attach it to the anchor layer. If you weren't using GeoLayers, you would just parent this to the actual map and then I can set this to 3D. And it's important that it's in 3D and because now if I move my map comp around, you're gonna see that this path is nice and flat with the map. However, it's looking quite flat. It's good that our path is flat on there, but I wanna give it some more depth. You know, I wanna make it look a little bit more dynamic. And I can do this using my little ship icon, which I'm gonna be getting from today's sponsor, Envato Elements. With a subscription to Envato Elements, you get access to over 56 million assets. While it's nice to create things from scratch, I usually never have the time to do this. That's why it's great to have access to Envato Elements for things like transitions, fonts. I'm constantly using these elements for different map animations. They have great icons, backgrounds, textures, ink transitions, great sound effects. There's a whole collection of isometric map elements. And again, that 3D section is an incredible resource when creating maps. They offer a nice and clean, simple lifetime commercial license, which is good even after your subscription ends. Following the link in the video description is gonna give you 50% off when you select an annual subscription, which will give you access to everything on the site for under $20 a month. So in the script for this job, uh, my client had written that he wanted little ship icons animating along those paths and a bunch of different, in, in some of the animations he wants, you know, like seven or eight traveling along. So I had to figure out how to do that and make it look nice. Well, over here on Envato Elements, you actually have a 3D section. And if you go to 3D, I went in here and I searched for just sailing ship and there's actually a bunch of different options. And um, pretty much there's a lot that kind of have the look of the 16th and 17th century ships. Now this is not like a real 3D object that you can bring inside of After Effects using something like Helium or, or Element 3D. This is something that allows you to view a 3D render and you can view it on the website here and you can view different angles and then you can download those angles as still images. And you can download them either as a PNG with transparency or as a PSD. And if you get that PSD, you can obviously mess with the shadow as well. It's a really cool little shadow here. So I went ahead and downloaded a number of PNG files here. So I'm gonna grab this ship here and I'm just gonna drop it over here. So now we have our little ship. So how can I connect it to the path? Well, first I want that anchor point to be right at the bottom here so that when it 
moves along this path, it's gonna be kind of pivoting from this point. So to attach this here, I'm going to grab my trade route and we're gonna be using something called Create Nulls from Paths. This is a native After Effects script. You can find it under Window all the way at the bottom here. And there's something called Trace Path. So if you go down into your path that you drew and you actually go to the path group, you can actually, a quicker way to do that is just grab the layer and type in path and grab the actual path parameter. And you can see now I have this path parameter. And now I'm gonna click on trace path. What that does is that creates this null object that animates along the path now. And it's set up in a way, if you grab the effect controls panel, you can see there's an effect that has both a progress and a loop parameter. And if I hit the U key, you can see there's keyframes here now. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna animate along the path here, and it's also just gonna loop. After it hits the end, it just keeps looping. So I'm gonna turn off loop, and then I'm gonna grab these keyframes, and we wanna extend these out so that's like an eight second animation. So it goes along the path here for eight seconds. Now, I can just go over here and grab my ship, and I'm going to parent this to the null. And as I do that, I need to hold the shift key so that it automatically snaps to that position. So now you can see the ship is animating along the path, but it's crazy big and it's rotating, so I, I still need to make some changes here. First, for the scale, that's easy enough. I can grab the ship, I can scale this down to like 15, but I don't want it to rotate either. So if you go to the null of the trade route and hit R for rotation, you can see that it's got this um, crazy expression on here from, from this. So I'm gonna hold Alt and just turn that expression off, and now it will not rotate. And it's important that I don't turn either of these on to 3D. So now when I go and I pivot this, it's gonna stick to that path, but it's gonna kinda auto-orient to the camera, which is what I want, because if I'm having it at this angle, you can see now I've got the little ship there, and it's a perfect angle. So this is a really, really cool look. And again, this just kinda spices things up. Whereas if I had like just a side view, and then I snapped it to the map, and it would just be a flat, you know, we wanna make it look a little bit more dynamic. And even this little fake shadow is adding a lot. Now, if you want some customization options like I do, you can go here and you can pre-comp this. So go to layer, pre-compose, and I'll call this ships. So now we have this pre-comp that's animating along here. And the cool thing about that is I can go in here and now I can just add the different ship angles. So I could add another angle. Let's say we want it to go in the opposite direction. So we'll add this other angle. And if I turn off that layer, now the animation is still there, but the ship, you know, I have a different you know, different direction here, which is, I could add all the different angles, which is really, really cool. What makes this technique so customizable and so, you know, quick, you can see we don't have that many layers here, but if I go and grab the trade route, the actual path, and I hit G, I can grab the different vertices here, whoops, I can grab the different vertices, and watch what happens as I do that, the ship is gonna stick to that path which is just incredible. Like uh, there's other techniques where you can copy the path and paste it to the position. You wouldn't have this customization uh, with that particular technique. It's still a good technique, but it's just, you know, you gotta pick what you wanna do here. And I wanna be able to, you know, keep tweaking this path endlessly. You know, if the client's like, oh, that's not the right path, it's gonna be very easy to change. And for the last step, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna grab the map. And now we'll just like slowly fly around it. I'll add a keyframe here and then we'll add a keyframe at the end here. Oh yeah, and I forgot, the last step, the last thing you wanna do, again, something that's super easy, is you go down to your trade route and you add a trim paths animator, and you open this up, and here we have this in parameter, and if I drag this back, you can see that's gonna trim our path. Well, I want that to stick to the ship, the timing of the ship. So to do that, I just property pick whip that to the progress bar of my null, and now check it out, just like that. I just love this technique so much. I think I've already created like three tutorials kind of focusing on this just because it's it's such a great technique. I love it because look how clean this is. I mean, this, this isn't that many layers. This is five layers here. I can change the path. And um, if I look at keyframes, this, is, this animation is a total of like two keyframes on my null and two keyframes on my map moving. And again, with these Envato elements, I can quickly do like a 2D top-down view with that ship. I can do a straight-on front view. I can do this angled pitched view. Thank you, Envato elements. Once again, be sure to go check that out. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I have a playlist called Monday Maps where I've just compiled all of my different map tutorials 
And if you're a really big fan of this type of content, you can go check out my Patreon page where occasionally I give away project files as well as animation presets, all kinds of different stuff, as well as exclusive tutorials for my tier two and three patrons. So go check that out. I'll leave a link right here and in the video description. And, and that's it. I'll see you in the next one.